the City Skylines. My name is Stelio and this is Byerwood. So today we're going to be working on the skyline again, but uh, kind of just moving around the skyline. Um, today we're also going to be working on the entertainment areas and some more restaurants as well, uh, along with parking and working on that one entertainment strip that one boulevard with the paths on either side but you can see like we got a steakhouse here and just more bars and clubs along this road so this is supposed to be like the main entertainment road in the city this is supposed to be where most of the nightlife is going on and where young people and young adults are spending their time on the weekends so you know, you can bar hop or go from bar to bar and go to a concert hall, go to a club. You can do it all on the street, basically. So these these paths with the white border on either side are kind of cool. And so far, they're the path that I've chosen to go on either side of this boulevard, which is very pedestrian friendly, of course. But... As I begin to put more restaurants on, I found this really cool asset called Gus's Chicken Shack, I believe. And I fit it, I move it around a little bit, but I end up fitting it in a pretty good spot with the drive through And it's one of my favorite parts of the street, believe it or not, with this commercial building, which might actually be an in-game piece, I'm not sure, but uh, this is a pretty cool part of the road. And... What I'm also going to be doing in this episode is moving more, uh, I believe the direction is west, um, moving more west in the city, uh, towards just moving out, so in the opposite direction of the skyline on the other side of this road, which I haven't named yet, which I need to think of a name soon, because it's hard to label it and call it something without a name. This asset is one of my favorite, and these modern apartments are really cool across the streets, and it's one of my favorite parts of this, uh, sort of dense part of the city, but not quite as dense as the skyline. So the more that we fit in, the more, uh, the city comes to life. There's more cars driving around and people walking around. In the updated intro, there will be cinematics from this city, uh, this part of the city, sorry. I'm glad to say that we've made it five episodes. Uh, nothing I've done on YouTube has lasted this long. I'm glad that I'm enjoying making videos. I have a great time making these videos there. Um, I try to put a lot of effort in as much as I can, of course. So um, I like where the city's going. I like where the series is going. Um, I've completely used my pre-recorded clips. So it might seem like I've made a few episodes quickly, but... It's just because I've made a few, um, or I've recorded a lot of this before I decided to actually make it into a YouTube series. So coming up, uh, I want to say two more things. I'm glad with the length of video, this one is going to be one of the longest ones. And I'm hoping the next ones can be six to eight minutes because my upload speed is not great. And I think that's about where I want to limit the... I don't expect people to want to watch 15 to 30 minute videos of City Skylines, so I think lowering the time of video and condensing it to more relevant and important things would be better off than 30 minutes of rambling and music. But speaking of music, um, I've decided to play the GTA 3 theme song uh, for the second half of this uh, video. So. I hope you enjoy it. It's great production by the Rockstar Music Team. Uh, all credit to them, of course. But thank you. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.